Istanbul is unlike any other city in the world. The passionate heart and stirring soul of Turkey, a vivid reflection of the many empires that once ruled here. Tonight, Fenerbahce Istanbul hosts Basconia Vittoria Gasteiz. Round six saw a rematch of last season's semi-final with Fenerbahce installed as favorites. But Jakob Lasic and Shane Larkin led a quartet of players posting double-digit scores for the Spanish club while Fenerbahce floundered, misfiring from the field. Basconia bettered the visitors in every aspect of the game, resulting in a 34-point thrashing, 86-52. Larkin led the Basconia offense brilliantly that night and his numbers of 13 points and 6 assists saw him named player of the game. He was even better against Milan the following week, 21 points and 9 helpers. Like the rest of his team, Luigi de Thomas struggled in round six, failing to make a field goal and finishing with just two points. But the Italian international has found rich form once again this season and was player of the game in round 19 against Unix. Consistent ever since, in round 23, he posted 17 points and six rebounds for an index rating of 16. Last time out, Fenerbahce traveled to Lithuania, missing Jan Vesely and Kostas Lukas. But Epe Udo was inspired, top scoring for his team. Paulus Jankunas scored 15 for Zhao Giris to move to 10th place all-time on the EuroLeague scoring charts. But the milestone couldn't fend off a Fenerbahce win. Basconia hosted Milan in the last round, the Italians fighting to keep their slim playoff possibilities alive. Kim Tilly exploded for a career high and a one-point game at the half was blown wide open in the third as Adam Hanger and Shane Larkin took control. Fourth place Fenerbahce Istanbul faced Basconia Vittoria Gasteiz who were eighth at the Fenerbahce Elka Sports Arena in round 25 of the Turkish Airlines Euroleague.